Well, hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Canning Nana. So today's another recipe day, and for dinner tonight, I am making coconut panko battered shrimp. We're going to deep fry this, and I'm almost done with them, but decided to show you guys a video, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how I do this. I have um, a bowl of egg, and I'm going to crack one more in here. I have another bowl of some unsweetened coconut and then a bowl of panko batter with salt and pepper in there and then this is what I've done so far probably a little over a pound of shrimp these come out so good you guys so I know you guys are liking the recipes and I keep getting uh, comments and emails saying to please post more recipes as you do them so um, I just remembered so I've got I think three or four more shrimp here so I'm going to show you guys how to do this because it's so simple and it's really expensive in the restaurants and we live at the beach you guys so it's it's even more expensive here to do this but it's so easy to do so what we did is we bought some shrimp oh, let me take that bad piece out so you want to devein your shrimp goodness okay let me use a fork Okay, so you want to take these little veins out. You want to peel and devein your shrimp. This one just refuses to come out. There we go. Okay, so after doing this, I am going to dip it in my panko. Make sure it's completely covered. Just like that. And then I'm going to take it and dip it into my egg wash. And after that, into my coconut. And that's it. Very, very simple coconut shrimp recipe. I'm gonna show you guys how to fry them because they fry up really quickly. And if you have any sweet chili sauce or some sweet and sour sauce that you would like with it, then it's a perfect addition. So this has gotten, this coconut has been used for all of these shrimp, so it's not doing great. <laughs> it's got some um, egg in it. Here, let me show you, I'm almost to the end. I've only got one more after this one. Okay, into the egg we go. And all I'm doing is making rice and a vegetable with this, that's it. See, toward the end, everything gets kind of cakey, um, but it all tastes the same. It's a little bit more difficult to make them batter stay on there. Okay, one more. Let's see if I can not use some more. I'm going to panko this. And don't forget, everybody, when you use fish of any kind or meat to batter something, you've got to throw it all away. So measure it before you do it and you won't have any waste. Okay, so into the egg wash we go on this one. Just let it soak up a little bit. Okay, and then into the coconut. So I might need a little bit more coconut in this one. Let's get that so you can see. Okay, come on coconut. Okay, get on there. I'm gonna use up all of the coconut. I don't wanna to have to get into my jar of coconut. Okay, there we go. All right, I will be right back and I will show you how to, how to uh, fry these up really quickly. Okay, you guys, so I am heating up some vegetable oil. Here we have all of our shrimp. There are probably about 16 to 20 shrimp on here and they're really big. These are the shrimp that I got at Costco. Um, if you go to Costco and you love shrimp, they have, I think, 1620s, and they are $39.99, at least here in California, which is an amazing deal, you guys. Really amazing. I can't go down to the harbor here and get them for that uh, cost that big without heads and everything on it. Ugh. They have them fresh, yes, but, but they have heads and tails and everything, and I like this. Th these have tails. They're de-veined, but they're not de-shelled. 
Um, so, but they're really, really good and they're always a consistent size. They're very, very good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take a piece of coconut and drop it in my oil and make sure that it's hot enough and then I'm gonna start putting the shrimp in with my fingers, just like that. The last ones I did first. Okay, so that is way too hot. And like I said, these brown really quickly. You gotta watch them. You see these are browning already. So the more shrimp I put in here, the faster the oil will cool, and then we'll be good. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And this one is brown already. And that one is brown. These cook super fast, you guys. So really, really, really keep your eye on them. And shrimp in general cook fast, but these are really fast. So this whole pan is moved to the side. I'm going to put shrimp here. And then what I have is this handy dandy little gadget right here. They come in a set of three and I got them on Amazon. If you guys are interested, I'll link it in the description box. Just let me know. Um, I don't have them linked though. So I'm going to scoop them out and then drain them. And then I have a platter with paper towels on it to drain the shrimp. So see how fast these cook, and they look delicious, and they taste delicious. They are so good. Okay, so you can tell shrimp is done by kind of poking it with your fork. So that one is brown on both sides. However, it's not cooked. This one, that one looks like it's cooked. Look at that. Doesn't that look scrumptious? So I, this is unsweetened coconut, you guys. Well, I guess I'm not going to use my little neck thing. This is unsweetened coconut. Uh, the alternative, this is organic unsweetened. So the alternative at the store is sweetened coconut, and you really don't want sweetened coconut for this, um, unless you really like your shrimp sweet. I mean, I do, but adding sugar to coconut kind of defeats the purpose of the flavor of coconut if you really like it. Um, so I would prefer unsweetened coconut. I try to get the less processed foods that I possibly can. So that one right there in the middle is now done. Okay, I'm gonna bring it over here. So I'm gonna have to find some uh, sweet and or sweet and sour sauce or sweet chili sauce. I know that I have both. I did can sweet chili sauce once. Um, someone asked me to do it, and I made about a dozen. Uh, half pint jars. It came out really good. Um, that was like five years ago. I think I still have two cans of this stuff, actually. <laughs> Maybe I should look for that. Okay, so I think so. I think that's done. So remember, when you um, are cooking shrimp, once you remove it from the oil, it still continues to cook. So you want to remove it before it's completely done. Use my reach, you guys. I'm gonna get these all in there and cooking. Such a simple dinner. It really, really is. So it, it probably looks like we eat a lot of fish. Um, and we do, but we really like it. Um, we get it fresh down here at the harbor, like I said, and um, it's it's just really good. So we do all different things with fish and different kinds of fish. One of my favorite kinds of fish is ahi. If you guys have never had that, it's yellowfin tuna and it is absolutely amazing. I think that one is done. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And that's all that there is to it, you guys, really. So today's word of the day is going to be coconut. And uh, please leave a comment in the comment section and uh, leave the word of the day to enter into the 7,000 subscriber giveaway, which is coming really soon. Um, an update is coming either tomorrow or fr uh, Monday about that. Um, also hit that like button, that thumbs up, and subscribe so that you can be a part of the giveaway. If you're not subscribed, you're not gonna win anything. 
Um, so I would love to have uh, all of you who watch, please subscribe to my channel. And um, we're gonna be giving away a ton of stuff. Like I said, there's an update coming for that very, very soon. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. Don't forget the word of the day, coconut.